Hey there, it's Meredith, and I am gonna be sharing with you the tips on how you can insert your product offer into any conversation that you have. So many of us are very nervous when it comes to sharing in person because we lose that kind of that safety net, that buffer of being on social media. We're now one-on-one, -on -one, we are face-to-face, -face, and we're gonna share our product or our opportunity, okay? Now, you're gonna share this the same way you would share your hairdresser or your nail girl or your dentist right think about it we're heading into spring so people are thinking about pedicures right now you're talking to a friend and she is like oh my gosh I need to get a pedicure we are going out on April vacation and I need to get my feet sandal ready you better believe if you have a good nail girl you're gonna be like oh my gosh Sarah is the best I love Sarah you should give her a try when I go to see Sarah, and the reason I love her so much is because I get there, she offers me a latte, she knows how I like it. When we're doing my pedicure, she gives me a massage, she puts on the wax. It, my, my feet feel so amazing when I leave there. Check out her Instagram account. Check out what she does. You guys, same, same, same thing when we are sharing our products. You're in a conversation, someone's talking about their problem, right? Oh my gosh, this resurge of winter in mid-March, the dry air, my skin is so dry. We're in swim lessons and the chlorine is really drying out my skin or my son's skin. Insert, you know, Weston, that's my son, Weston's skin was really dry too. He was struggling with some eczema. I discovered this oil and it has completely healed his skin. Would you be curious to learn more? I've got a sample right here. Would you give it a shot? Same thing. So what we do, we hear the problem. We offer a solution and how it's going to be beneficial or valuable to them. We make the offer and we make it non-pressure, non-salesy. If I gave you, are you curious? So they can say yes or they can say no, right? Then we share a third party tool. Now the third party tool, it could be a sample pack. I love these. I always have samples on me, always. It could be a before and after. It could be something on your phone. I highly recommend that you have an album on your phone of like before and after so it's really easy to pick something up, pick something out when you're in a mid conversation. And then the last step is you follow up. So here's what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna give you some examples. First one is with healing body oil. I'm in a conversation with one of my girlfriends and she is sharing how they're gonna go on an upcoming vacation somewhere warm that she's so excited. I'm gonna bring up how whenever I go on vacations, I get sunburned, right? That will get her talking about, oh my gosh, I probably should go get some aloe for sunburns. And then I have the opportunity here to take control of that offer, take control of that solution. So I'm gonna say, you know, I always used aloe and I used aloe on the boys, but I actually found this oil that has been so much more helpful and I love it so much because it not only helps with sunburns, it helps with rashes, it helps with cuts and scrapes and bruises, bee stings. If the boys go swimming and their skin is dry from the chlorine, we throw it on, it hydrates the skin. Are you curious to learn more? I actually have a phone, I actually took a picture or a before and after on my phone, you wanna see it? Third party tool right there. I actually have a sample on me right now. If I gave it to you, would you give it a try? Third party tool right there. And then you follow up. So your follow up would look like, hey, how did that oil feel on your skin? If you're in the conversation and you're sh showing that before and after of your son's eczema or rash on their skin, what do you think? What's something that stood out to you? Does this sound like something that would help for you guys, right? Think about it with hair, okay? I always compliment people on, on their hair because I'm a hair person, I love hair. <laughs> so I always have my hair sample packs on me. 
And if I see someone whose hair I love, I go over and I give them a compliment. I just wanted to tell you, I am obsessed with your hair. They're like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm like, yeah, where do you go? Who do you see? We start the conversation. And then I can insert in mid conversation, you know, I can see that you're someone who loves your hair. You invest in your hair. I actually just got started on this new shampoo and conditioner with a hair oil that literally sold, they sold four months of products in 20 days. I actually have a sample right here. You want to give it a try? Bam. Yeah, I would love to give it a try. Okay, perfect. Here you go. I'll follow up with you on Friday and see what you think. Friday rolls around. Hey, how'd your hair feel after your shower? Hey, how is it styling your hair the next day? How many days were you able to go before shampooing? And you're just following up, okay? Let's do face products, for example. I'll be in conversations with people and I will, I will notice something on their skin, right? Say I'm looking at their makeup and I can tell that it is not setting well. And we all know your makeup can't be a 10 if your skincare is a two, right? So I will talk about, I'll insert, like I am loving my makeup right now because I discovered this new line that I'm using on my skin and I no longer have, and I'll point out what I see on their skin but I'm talking about like it was on myself, you know, creatively throwing that in there. <laughs> and we'll start talking about it. And I'll say, yeah, I discovered this new skincare line that allows me one, to apply less makeup and two, look how my makeup is sitting. It's crazy, right? And your face is your third party tool. You let what your face looks like do the talking. They're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Have that album ready on your phone, right? You got before and afters right there on your phone. Have your sample pack. I got a sample pack. You want to give it a shot? I got a sample pack. You want to try it tonight? Sure, I'd love to. And then you can follow up. <laughs> hey, how did your skin feel going to bed after applying that oil? How did your makeup look? The next day see what I mean so we are going through that same process and I have it right here for you guys what's in it for them so we're identifying a problem that we have a solution for how it has benefited you or someone in their same situation the offer are you curious to learn more would you be open to XYZ Share that third-party tool, third-party tool. Could be an experience pack. Could be a picture on your phone. Could be your own face. Could be a Facebook group, right? A community Facebook group. And then we're following up. Now, it's so important to be creative in your sharing, right? So I've talked to some people, say maybe I've brought it up to some people at the Boys Ninja class. And I'm not sure how to bring it up again. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to put together my sample packs, but I'm going to leave them outside of the bag. So I'm going to have, this is the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair oil, the scrunchie, and then this bag. And I am not going to have them stuffed in the bag. I'm going to show up at ninja class. I'm going to have a blanket. I'm going to sit down on the floor and I'm going to pack these. And as the moms are coming in, they're asking me, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just putting together hair samples because... Everybody's been loving the hair products. We sold four months of products in two months. You want to try one? Yes. Then you can follow up. You are going to a meeting. Say you're going to lunch with a friend or you're going to a board meeting or something. Show up early. Be putting these together when someone shows up. What are you doing? Putting together experience packs. You want to give one a try? Yeah. Say you go to a coffee shop and there's a new barista or you've been going to this coffee shop and the barista that's there gives you the best service. Hey, 
Thank you so much for always taking care of me. Thank you so much for um, always knowing my order. I really appreciate it. I want to give this to you as a thank you. And then next time I'm in there, hey, how'd your hair feel? See how simple that is? And we're just creatively sharing. And the third thing is always be connecting, right? Connect with the barista at the coffee shop. If you go to TJ Maxx a lot, chat with the lady that you check out with. If you go and pick up your kids at school pickup, talk to the other moms in line. If you go to networking events, make connections. Always be connecting. On social media, we do this through tag a friend. If you like this, give me a share. A great way to always be connecting in your business is to have a referral program. You know, like the skincare, share with a friend and I'll give you a $10 gift certificate when they make their first purchase. So always be expanding your network, always be expanding your reach. And if you practice this enough, you'll get so good at it, you won't even notice that you're doing it. You're gonna start sharing it just as you share that hairdresser, just as you share that dentist or that nail girl. It's gonna become so natural, as it should, because it's a natural thing we already do. All right, so there are my tips for you guys today. Hope that this was helpful. If it was, make sure you share my account with a friend and I can't wait to chat with you guys soon.